Good evening, and welcome to the public hearing for the Median Modification Project on State Road 25, U.S. 27, and Highland Lakes Boulevard in Lake County. It is Thursday, October 26, 2017. The project manager for the Florida Department of Transportation, District 5, is Mr. Stephen Buck. Also here this evening are various members of the Florida Department of Transportation staff. A transcript is being made of all oral proceedings and will be part of the public record of this project. At the conclusion of the presentation, attendees who completed a speaker request card will be given an opportunity to speak into a microphone to make comments. Any questions will be answered after the public hearing portion of this meeting. If you did not pick up a card at the registration desk, project staff will distribute cards to anyone wishing to give a verbal statement. If you do not wish to speak publicly, you may also make a comment directly to the court reporter after the presentation. This public hearing is being held in accordance with Florida Statute Section 339.155, Section 335.199, and Section 120.525. This public hearing was advertised consistent with federal and state requirements and is being conducted consistent with the Americans with Disabilities Act of 1990. This hearing is being held to give all interested persons the opportunity to express their views relative to this project. Notice of this public hearing was published in the Orlando Sentinel Lake Zone on October 8th and October 15th, 2017. Public participation at this hearing is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Should you wish to express any concerns regarding FDOT compliance with Title VI, please contact either Jennifer Smith, the District 5 Title VI Coordinator, at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 506, Deland, Florida, 32720, phone 386-943-5367, email jennifer.smith2 at dot.state.fl.us, or Jacqueline Paramore, the State Title VI Coordinator, at 605 Sewanee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399, phone 850 414 4753, email jacqueline.paramore at dot or you may use one of the forms available in English, Spanish, and Creole at the registration table. As previously mentioned, this hearing addresses the median opening on State Road 25, U.S. 27, at the intersection with Highland Lakes Boulevard, as shown on the project location map. This proposed improvement is part of an eight-mile resurfacing design project from O'Brien Road to Arlington Ridge Boulevard. The purpose of the public hearing is to share information about the median modification project at the intersection of U.S. 27 with Highland Lakes Boulevard. This public hearing also serves as an official forum to give you the opportunity to express your opinions and concerns about this project. The proposed improvements consist of converting the existing full median opening to a southbound directional median opening. This improvement will reduce the number of traffic conflict points, which improves safety and traffic operations at this location. A signal warrant study was conducted at U.S. 27 and Highland Lakes Boulevard in March of 2016, in which numerous conflicts were observed involving left turns. Crash data was analyzed for year 2015 for the 12-month period ending December 31, 2015, 
and a total of three angle crashes, one rear end, and one side swipe crash occurred at this intersection. These crashes resulted in three fatalities and three injuries. Converting the current full median opening to a directional median opening at this location will improve safety by reducing the number of conflict points and potential angle crashes. So, what are conflict points? Conflict points are locations along a roadway where the paths of two vehicles can legally cross, just not at the same time. Each conflict point is a location where a crash can occur. For example, at a two-lane four-way intersection, there are as many as 32 conflict points, as shown on this slide. In this scenario, if a vehicle is attempting to make a left turn from the side street, it can cross paths with vehicles going through on the main street, making a left turn from the main street, or with a vehicle going through or turning right in the opposing direction. The US 27 intersection with Highland Lakes Boulevard is a three-way intersection containing numerous conflict points. The placement of a directional median opening greatly reduces the number of conflict points at this intersection. The existing full median opening on US 27 at Highland Lakes Boulevard will be converted by FDOT to a southbound directional median opening based on the evaluation of observed conflicts relating to turning movements and documented crash data at this location. Right turns out of the Highland Lakes neighborhood will still be permitted, but a designated U-turn lane is proposed to the north of the intersection to provide for southbound turns out of Highland Lakes. If you have more questions about access management, the Florida Department of Transportation has produced an access management brochure. It is written in a question and answer format where commonly asked questions are answered in a way that is easily understood. Copies of this brochure are available here this evening, or you can download a PDF file of the brochure from FDOT's Access Management website. The design for the overall resurfacing project from O'Brien Road to Arlington Ridge Boulevard, including the median modification at Highland Lakes Boulevard, is underway and should be completed by the summer of 2018. Design and construction costs for the entire project are estimated at approximately $9.8 million, and construction could begin in late 2018. The Department of Transportation values your opinion. A court reporter is present to record a statement from anyone wishing to do so. Please give us your comments by submitting a speaker request card found at the registration table or by filling out a comment card and either dropping it in the comment box or returning it by mail to the address on the card by November 6, 2017. If you do not feel comfortable speaking in front of an audience, you may make a statement directly to the court reporter after the presentation. You can also give us your input by emailing stephen.buck at dot.state.fl.us. All comments, whether written or oral, will become part of the project's public record. At the conclusion of the presentation, we will collect speaker request cards from anyone wishing to make a statement. We ask that you limit your comments to three minutes, and please remember that we will not be answering any questions at this time. The project staff will be available at the displays after the formal presentation to answer any questions you may have. When we collect the speaker request cards, we will call out the names of individuals who have filled out a card in the order we have received them. When you come to the microphone, please state your full name, your street address, and then give your statement for the court reporter to record.
If you have any questions or would like more information about this project, please contact Mr. Stephen Buck at the address or email shown on this slide, or you may call him at 386-943-5171. You can also keep up to date with this project, as well as others in the area, by checking the cflroads.com website. Thank you for taking the time to attend this hearing, and we appreciate your participation. We look forward to receiving your comments on this project.